What do you think of the idea of making batteries out of wood that can be charged in 8 minutes? Agreed, this is a very unusual decision, but listen on and we will tell you why. The battery market is expected to grow tenfold over the next decade as we move towards the absolute electrification of society. Nevertheless, unfortunately, we are still not able to solve several related problems. For instance, when will such batteries that would charge very quickly? Or where can so many fossil materials that we now use for so many batteries be obtained? Perhaps the answer to all questions will be a new technology that allows us to make high-performance batteries from wood. Graphite is one of the most common materials used for anodes in batteries today. It's simple. It has high electrical conductivity and is stable and cheap. But not everything is so good as graphite has problems. Firstly, it is often mined in underdeveloped countries or states that do not really care about protecting the environment. This results in severe environmental damage. Secondly, the graphite mining process is energy intensive and results in significant greenhouse gas emissions. A paradox arises. In an attempt to reduce the carbon footprint, we increase it even more and mitigate all the achievements of technology. Thirdly, the mining as well as the processing of graphite poses public health problems through fine particulate emissions and exposure to toxic substances. Fourthly, graphite has a limited energy density. That is, to make a more capacious battery, they will have to increase its size. Naturally, these limitations are pushing scientists to look for alternative materials to use as anodes in batteries. Those that would increase the level of performance, scalability, and stability. One such alternative is lignin. How could this material revolutionize batteries? This is the Stora Enso, a Finnish-Swedish corporation that emerged in 1998 as a result of the merger of the Stora Swedish Mining Company and Forestry Company and the Enso Gutzeit Finnish Paper and Paperboard Manufacturer. It is also one of the largest private forest owners in the world. Actually, it was engineers from the Stora Enso who suggested making high-performance batteries out of wood. More specifically, lignin. Ten years ago, this material was regarded as a byproduct of the processing of trees into pulp. But it turned out that it can be sustainable, environmentally friendly, and an effective replacement for fossil graphite. It turned out that anodes from lignin, which Stora Enso has patented as lignode, have several advantages. These include increased safety, reduced risk of thermal discharge, and increased energy density compared to traditional graphite-based anodes. But more importantly, it can be produced at a lower cost, making it an attractive alternative to traditional battery materials. And do not forget that it is absolutely environmentally friendly. What's more, the company extracts all the lignin under conditions of efficient forest resource management. How does the technology work? Lignin is first released from wood during the production of cellulose fibers. In an ordinary tree, there is about 20-30% to 30 of such material as it is the glue for the remaining components, and it also gives the wood rigidity and resistance to decay. Then the second stage. The lignin is purified into a fine carbon powder. Further, this material is used to make electrode sheets and rolls, which can already serve as an active component for the negative anode of a lithium-ion battery. And at the end, all the necessary components add up to the so-called lignocell, which according to its creators can be charged in just 8 minutes. According to the company, Stora Enso has now signed an agreement with Beyonder, which develops and manufactures environmentally friendly and high-performance batteries for industrial use. A similar agreement has also been signed with a Northvolt battery manufacturer. It is expected that these partnerships will accelerate the process. In the meantime, the company is working to create battery components from lignin including electrodes, separators and electrolytes, which are vital components of lithium-ion batteries. The possibility of using lignin-based materials in other energy storage applications such as supercapacitors is also being explored. The emergence of truly functional battery systems is planned for 2025. Although lignin-based batteries are still in the early stages of development, they look promising as a more sustainable and environmentally friendly alternative to traditional batteries. The Stora Enso company believes that everything made from fossil materials today can be made from wood tomorrow.
But right now, such systems developers need to improve the performance and scalability of energy sources. Do you think they will succeed? To avoid guessing, subscribe to the channel and we will definitely tell you about it in future videos.